Lifesavers. I'm Patrick Norton. And I'm Kevin Rose. Coming up in this half hour, Uggum is going to get a little tweaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to tell you about password protecting special files from being deleted. So we'll tell you all you need to know. Our next caller wants to know, you know, how can they delete those files or can we keep them so nobody can get to them? We'll, we'll should, show them how to. I should point out, it's day four of our ultimate gaming machine. We just pulled the plug actually on the four monitors back here. That's why I like just started there. Basically, this week we're building our ultimate gaming machine. We're up to version 8.0. We're looking at monitors. Mm -hmm. Later on today, we're going to look at system tweak. And Tuesday, when we come back, so we got Monday off, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We're going to be benchmarking them, talking about how fast we got it to run. Today, monitors, we're talking about LCD versus CRT. We love LCD flat panels. Plasma, too big, too much money. But, you know, LCD versus CRT, we started using those 18-inch NEC Mitsubishi mm -hmm. monitors, the, the multi-sinks. We're like, wow, you know what? These are really up to gaming. But we started out with some basic gaming monitors. We started out with a 19-inch CRT, mm -hmm. right, because you know what, in terms of value, glass is still the way to go, the big glass monitors. They're inexpensive, they run the high resolutions and great refresh rates. $300 gets you a great 19-inch gaming monitor, monitor like this one from NEC. And they've gotten a lot smaller, too. Yeah, actually, the CRTs, you turn the side there, I mean, compared to how the way they used to be. Yeah, it's, it's a little shorter. They still have, like, a short throw, but, you know, they're still a lot bigger than an LCD. We right. turn that one over there around. We also, if you're going for a high end, you're talking about not much money, 22-inch CRT, Basically, look at one from ViewSonic. It's like the P225F, which is a catchy set of letters and numbers. $440 for a beautiful screen that will do resolutions I've never even heard of in, like, the 2035 by 1800 range. Right. But if you want to basically take advantage of a 16 by 12 resolution on a monitor, you know what? You don't have a big enough monitor. You're not going to be able to see it on the system. You're not going to be able to take advantage of a high-end graphics card. And the card. other problem with this thing is it weighs about 75, 80 pounds. Exactly. It's about 68 pounds. 68 pounds, though, 68 it is. 68 pounds oh. after you take it out of the packaging versus something like this, which is NEC's multi-sync LCD, the that's 1980SX. Nice. That's the slightly bigger brother of the that. one we use on the set. That's weighing about 22 pounds. If you pull that all the way up, you can spin it. You can also see how you can do it in you know, like a portrait mode That's if you're cool. look, working with large documents. Yeah, now, there's, there's special software that'll flip that actually. So it looks, oh, it's awesome. The whole portrait mode thing. Now, 22 pounds, $850, 19 inch monitor, 21 inch monitor, $440. So basically, we're talking about a major price difference. Everybody was excited though when we got that one in. It's a huge LCD. It's a 40 inch LCD. It's running like a 12. 80 by 768 resolution to LCD 4000 from NEC. We're like, this is it. This is amazing. It's only $5,700. No problem. But the truth is, if you don't have like half of a you know dining room table between you and this monitor, you can't use it for very often because if you're up really close to it, you spend a lot of time going like yeah, this. We trying tried. To figure out what's we put our keyboard the right there, and you can do it for about five minutes until you get sick. Yeah. But yeah. Or the, you know your neck gets sore. But it's but a look great at this idea. Thing. Look at this. We're talking like how much is this one way? I think it's about uh, 80 pounds. That's awesome. It's and it's about four or five inches thick, you know. But again, great for DVDs. Mm -hmm. Great if you want to have like an entire magazine open in front of you. It's great. Resolution's a little lower, 1280 by 768. It's running like a 16 by 9 portrait. Right. So here's what we decided on. We went with an LCD, 21 inch, the LCD 2180 UX. Also an NEC monitor. Again, we we kicked the power on, so we're waiting for them to restart the generator in the back. This is the one, though, $1,600, 22 inches. If you can see that, it's 21 inches. If you can see the gaming on it, it's beautiful. It's running at 1,600 by 1,280. Unbelievable when it's hooked up to that 9800 XT from ATI. The gaming is incredible. You can also ro rotate it again. That's you're great. never going to do that when you're gaming, but it's exciting to be able to read an entire 14-inch legal document in one throw. Because legal documents are fun when you have a nice monitor that turns to the side. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> now, one, one question, though, for you. Now, this, how much did this one run? That's $1,600. $1,600. Now, that's great for our Ultimate Gaming right. Machine, but what is the monitor for the average home consumer that wants to spend for normal four or 500 beings? bucks? It was funny. It's been a while since, if you take a look at these two, it's been a while since I've actually had a chance to look at a couple of CRTs, and I realized something. It's one, $300 for a high-end 19-inch monitor. You get a right. gorgeous piece of glass. It's a virtual scrap, a flat screen, so it looks very similar to the LCDs, and you're going to have great resolution, probably be able to 1280 by 1024, 1600 by 1200 is mm -hmm. pushing it, but this is be an awesome, awesome gaming system for like mid-range, and I'll be honest with you, you stare at monitors constantly. Every right. second you're using your computer, you're, you know, unless you're like, your eyes are closed and you're listening to your MP3 collection, you're staring at a monitor. Spend the money on the glass, spend the money to get the highest refresh rates at the, at the screen resolutions you use, because mm -hmm. if you do that, your eyes aren't going to want to fall out of your face after 40 minutes. And look, $400 for a 22-inch screen, you're going to need a deep desk. I don't think I could fit this on my right. lab bench in my Neither garage. Could I. But you know what? I'd figure out a way to do it because it's a nice to be able to use a big screen and to take advantage of the money you put into your graphics. And again, 
Big screen, nice picture. Trust us on that one. Nice. We like it. Now, you got a list of all these products on the website, I take it? All at thescreensavers.com. Basically, everything we put into it, everything that's going into it, and we're going we're gonna to talk to Robert Heron in a few minutes. He's going to tell us how to tweak it to get the best performance. we got information on that up on the website, too. Good deal. Jessica? Jessica's yes, last one, too. Okay, so not sure where to buy that new component for your PC or where... Uh, can you find the best price? Well, there's one site that we always suggest you go to, and that's PriceWatch.com. It links you to tons of online sites to get the best price out of any PC component. Now, stay where you are. We're going to tell Nathan if he can password protect those extra special files of his from the Delete Goblins. And after the break, we'll show you some extreme tweaking for our Ultimate Gaming Machine when the screensavers continue. <laughs> I could have used a little more cowbell. Right to warn you.